So today I'm going to show you how to make the daggers for Isabel from Dragon Age, and then in the next couple of weeks I will have the rest of her costume posted. So the first thing you want to do is cut the basic blade shape out of some thin cardboard, and I do have a free template for these in my patterns vault if you don't want to try drawing them yourself, but they are pretty draw easy to draw freehand. And then you want to paint the blades metallic silver, and then take some puffy paint, you can use any color, and just draw on all the little squiggles and swirls that were on the sides of the blade. So here it is with all the puffy paint on it. And then you just want to take some metallic gunmetal gray and paint half the blades. Um, if you coat the cardboard in glue first before you do any painting, it looks better and shinier, but um, I was in a hurry so I didn't. But you just paint over the puffy paint and the cardboard together, and it kind of makes the puffy paint look like it's part of the metal. So here it is when that's done, the gunmetal gray. And again, if I had painted over the cardboard first with some glue, just Elmer's glue, it gives it a better coating for the paint to adhere to to make it shinier. So then cut four hilt pieces out of some corrugated cardboard, and two of them should slip over each other, one for each side. And so then take your blade and take two of the pieces, wrap it around it to kind of measure where it'll go. And then take yourself a hot glue gun. You want to put hot glue about two thirds of the way down. You want to leave the bottom of it unglued. So that way you'll still be able to spread the bottom apart. So you can slip that right over the blade part. Just like that. And before you actually glue it in place, you just want to paint it metallic gold. Just like that. And then you want to take either some copper paint and a very thin brush, or I'm just using a copper marking pen here. You just want to draw out all the little designs that she had on the hilt of her blades. Do it to both hilts, and then put a little bit of hot glue on the edge of the blade, and just slide the gold cardboard hilt right over it, and set it in place. And do that to both blades, and so here's what the finished blades look like, and now let's take them for a test run.